research undertaken in Denmark has shown that plants placed too close to Wi-Fi routers have trouble growing. The experiment was performed by a group of 9th graders after their proposal to monitor the effects of sleeping by a cell phone was rejected due to the lack of sufficient resources. Undaunted, they switched their focus to the more attainable goal of assessing the impact that router radiation from Wi-Fi had on plants. The group planted 12 containers of garden crest seeds and placed half in a room near two Wi-Fi devices and the other half in a separate room with no such gadgets. For 12 days, they monitored the progress of the seeds by photographing, weighing, and measuring them. By the end of the test duration, the results were clear. The seeds that were placed near the router had died or not grown as usual, while the others had begun to flourish. The teacher who oversaw the experiment assured critics that the two specimens were watered and cared for in the same manner. Their discovery has gotten the attention of a professor at the Karolinska Institute who plans to carry out a similar test, but in a more controlled environment. So what is by your head when you sleep? This is a huge issue nowadays because so many of us have devices, we have lights next to us, but particularly devices. So I'm going to talk a little bit about and help you see the effects of sleeping next to a cell phone, an iPad, or even a, a cordless decked phone. And we have a corded phone. We return to a landline, so if we get a call in the middle of the night, this is what we have. And as you can see, there are no um, radio frequencies coming from this. There's no wireless technology involved with a landline, so I highly recommend a landline going back to the old-fashioned way. Now, this is the cordless phone that we used to have. I noticed a huge difference when we got rid of the decked phone and switched to a landline in terms of my sleep. I slept right by this, and as you can see on the meter, these are high levels and a lot of pulsing throughout the night that has been proven to disturb sleep and suppress melatonin. So as much as possible, we don't want any type of pulsing radio frequencies throughout the night. We want that down as low as possible. And I know we can't control that with um, wireless in the neighborhood, but in our own, where we're sleeping, in our own room, we don't have to sleep next to a device like a decked phone, a cordless decked phone. If you have to have this, the only phone you have, put the base somewhere else, um, outside the sleeping area. Go ahead. Okay, so a lot of people sleep next to their cell phone. And we're going to look at the difference between airplane mode or not airplane mode and the type of frequencies you'll be exposed to throughout the night. So if you need to sleep next to your cell phone, be sure to put it in airplane mode with Wi-Fi off and Bluetooth off because here's the difference. When Wi-Fi is on and it's not in airplane mode, this is the level that you'll see. And if we turn on airplane mode, you see those frequencies go way down. But ideally, you would sleep next to a battery operated alarm clock. That's the ideal. And keep all devices away from you. But at least with airplane mode and Wi Fi off and Bluetooth off, it's a much better than if those are on. Well, there are a lot more things to think about in terms of when you sleep and your devices. But one thing that I really like is I do read on a device at night, my iPad in airplane mode with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi off. And I wear these glasses because these suppress the blue light that you'll see. Now there's an app that you can also put on here um, to filter the blue light because the blue light is tricking the brain into saying, I want to stay awake. We want our melatonin to rise, our levels to rise at night, and blue light will trick that away. And that's one of the big reasons our melatonin is suppressed, is because we're reading these devices at night or exposed to a lot of artificial light or compact fluorescent lights, fluorescent lighting, and so forth. If we can filter out the blue lights with something as simple as these glasses, that can make a big difference in how fast you fall asleep. So with these suggestions and more, you're on your way to a good night's sleep.